Tower Defense X has one tower that majorly stands out from the rest. Can you guess what it is? If you said the Golden Juggernaut, what is wrong with you? It's obviously the Warship. The Warship, ever since release, has just wreaked havoc on the game like no other tower has ever seen before. And there are three other towers just like this that have not been released yet. So in today's video, I'm going to show you what they are and how they might work. Let's get to it. The first tower that will likely break the game upon its release is the Refractor. The Refractor has been teased numerous times before in images, videos, and even the recent Halloween trailer, and what I'm betting this tower will do is that it will be a specialized boss killer, kind of like Phaser from Tower Battles. Pretty much sucking when it comes to normal enemies, but absolutely annihilating bosses. The game doesn't really have any boss specific towers yet besides the Railgunner, so this would be an amazing addition to see in game. The second tower that will likely break the game upon its release is the Behemoth. The Behemoth is meant to be an upgraded version of the Armor Factory with super heavy vehicles like this one, and it's easy to see why this would break the game. Even a 2000 coin spawner tower like the Barracks is able to break the game already, so if you bring an endgame spawner to the table, who knows how OP it could be. Even the strongest endgame towers we have in the game right now, being the Zed and Relic, probably won't even come close to this thing's true potential when it comes out. And finally, probably the most overpowered of them all, is the aircraft carrier. Initially, it was theorized that this tower would spawn stuff like the AC-130 or other air units, but when power-ups got added to the game and featured these heavy air troops, it's unclear what this tower could really be used for. To be fair though, I do still think this tower will specialize in spawning stuff like AC-130s, A-10s, and other air units still. Just because the power-ups use the planes doesn't mean it's off-limits for other towers. Like how the commander uses a variant of the airstrike power-up, the aircraft carrier could use variants of these power-ups like the AC-130 as well. But what do you guys think will be the most game-breaking? Did I miss any towers? If so, let me know in the comments, and subscribe on your way down there. Peace out guys, have a good day.